That was slightly terrifying. I was opening up the blinds and moving this lamp so that there would be enough light for you to actually see in this video. And I was like holding the lamp and trying to step over all my stuff on the floor. And then I fell and the lamp was like just about to crash into the wall and shatter, but it was like that far away. I like landed on top of this huge pile of stuff and hopefully nothing broke. And yeah, the, that's not off to a good start today. Okay, my mom just got back from two weeks in Ireland. It seems like it was a lot of fun. She went with her dad and she brought me back some cool stuff. She got me a Rubik's Cube and it has little sheep on it. And it has little emotions of the sheep on it. And it's cool. She brought me back this flyer that says it's like a Miss America type thing but in Ireland, and it's for like alternative girls, so it's very interesting. Irish tattoos. I love fake tattoos. A sticker. I'll probably put that on my guitar or something. Some really cool graffiti postcards. So the artist is unknown, which is like a bummer because I really wanted to know who they were. Oh, that's another one. With a hole in it. Got this cool necklace and Kerrang magazine. This is like one of my favorite music magazines of all time. And we don't have it over here in the United States. And my mom got it just because it was one of the cheap ones. But it turns out that was like the perfect magazine that I really wanted. So I got some cool stuff from Ireland. Okay, I'm supposed to ask you guys a question. My question is, what is your favorite book? And yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to answer this now or later, so I'll just tell you now. My favorite book, I think, would have to be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. All of the Harry Potter series is my favorite, but the Deathly Hallows is my favorite book. Um, yeah, Quinn, I like your idea of reading a little bit of a book every week. I think you should do that. And Chloe's question was where you would, what country you would want to go to, or what three countries you'd want to go to. I would go to Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, because that's where all my friends are going to be. So I want to visit them. Um, what was the other question? Oh yeah, where I was born. I was born in Maryland, in a hospital that sucks. If you're in Maryland, don't go to that hospital. This is because the kazoo is too big to hold with my teeth and it keeps flying out of my mouth in the middle of the song. And I just gave up, so I just decided I'd look stupid and have it stay.
that today is awesome because I have a lot of cool stuff from Ireland and my mom is back from Ireland. Wow, okay, so I was in the middle of editing my video when my boss from Food Line, the grocery store I work at, called. And she's like, oh, did you know that you were supposed to be in here at 1? And I'm like, no. And it was, um, it was like 1.40, 1.45. So I'm like, oh, I didn't know because I checked the schedule yesterday and I wasn't supposed to come in today. So I rush and go there. I didn't have time to upload my video because it was still processing. So I rush into work and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I realized when I went to get my schedule, I wrote down last week. So I'm working, I'm there from like 2 and then I'm there till 9. Well, sometime like after 8, family comes in. They have two huge carts and I'm like wow and I turn to this lady I'm like I've never seen someone with two carts and she goes no they have four and I'm like are you kidding me and I look they have four completely packed carts and I'm like wow so that so the other lady I'm working with is ringing all that up and I'm trying to help bag her stuff while I can and then like take other people whenever they come and so it just keeps going and going and going Th these people ring up $1,200 worth of stuff and by the time it's all bagged it's filling up six carts and then they can't get their credit card to work. And so then I'm, so that register is completely useless because we're trying to call, call the credit card company or whatever and get them to sort that out. So I'm taking everyone else in my line. And then this lady comes with the Coinstar thing where she had like $160 in coins. So she brings me the thing and I scan it and I have to have a manager to override it. But the manager is in the middle of trying to get these people's credit card to work. So I have to call someone else. Luckily, he can do it. So he gets that to work so I can continue taking people in my line. And then by the time that I finish up with everyone in my line, the people never got their credit card to work. So we had seven carts of things to put away. So I had to stay a little bit late after work. I put, put away like a whole cart, and it was like six gallons of milk, three gallons of orange juice, like 50 eggs, um, probably like I think 8 things of toaster strudels, a few boxes of waffles, like 12 pizzas, like I have like 10 seconds left on my memory card. So yeah, they had tons and tons of stuff and that's why my video is late. Sorry. See you next Sunday.